All right, so we just cold started the trucks and we're on our way to the Kenny Bunk uh, rest area to meet up with our friends to head to IFO. All right, we talked Mason into coming with us. We just pulled over to the Kenny Bunk rest stop, waiting on a couple more cars, but we're just about ready to head on over. All right, guys, we're pulling in now. We're gonna go get parked, clean up the truck for like the next hour and get ready for the show. So we just got a signed picture from Jesse over there, Chad Lindbergh. So we're chilling, we're gonna go walk back to the truck. We just pulled up, it was like the first thing I had to go do before we uh, finished detailing the truck up. All right, so we are now parked. Everything is cleaned up. Everything's out on display. I just spent like an extra hour cleaning up my truck. I even put this book here. I have some progress photos. Interiors all cleaned up. got a parking spot right next to Adam. So we have this Del Sol and it's got the graphic down the side of it like the styrofoam cups used to in the 90s. Oh, that's sick. We got an FBR at 7 sitting over here. This thing is amazing. The paint is like flawless. Carbon fiber hood. Damn. Wow, this is amazing. I didn't even realize I was so excited right next to this one. There's another one. This one's a little more built up, it seems. I love the wheels. Damn. And he's got all this orange stitched interior. This thing is so clean. Both of them, beautiful cars. This is the first FD RX-7 we've seen since we've been here. The size of that snail. I got the truck being judged right now. So we'll find out the results in a little bit. We have this really clean 180 over here. You can see the intercooler sticking in down here, so you know it's turbo. But it's getting harder and harder to find clean 180s like this. Like, I love it. He's got the whole body kit. That is just, that is solid. That is so clean. So right over here, we have a Suzuki Samurai. But one cool thing is this is rotary swapped. Here we have a Chevy Love. He's got a 350 V8 under the hood. <clears throat> I was talking with the guy though. I mean, it looks great. It's got the patina on the outside, but you, you know, you got the fresh wheels to clean it up. And one of our favorite parts is back here. His exhaust setup coming right out of the back right through the middle it looks so good he uh, got to move his truck and park next to all the other mini trucks too the r32 over here I love these wheels obviously right-hand drive we have a Honda Odyssey VIP build. There's a lot of attention to detail, just everywhere, you know what I mean? You got things like the rain guards, the outside is wrapped, the pillars in between the windows. Man, like everything is just so detailed in this car. Wild. Yo, even up here. We got this Lexus IS350 here. And it's taillights, they're L's for the Lexus symbol. Like a dry carbon look in the background too. A lot of attention in those taillights. Oh, and it's a right hand drive 86. Damn. Right here we have a custom wide body 350Z. But the coolest part about this car is every single panel on it is carbon fiber. I, I, I love the hatch on this car too. Right here, we got a Subaru 
route with the jump seats in the back. Pretty sure that's a factory option too, which is insane. And then right over here we have the Mitsubishi Mighty Max. Bagged and all. Travis and Mason are in the jump seats in the back. D, that's a step. We got a step on the side. Oh, that's sick. This is the original interior. Like, that's insane. All the little side windows. Wow. That's that's so sick. That's the older style yeah, Subaru seat. emblem too. Look at attention to detail. My favorite part of this is definitely these wheels. Damn. It's a sweet little Corolla. Look at that. Getting the mini trucks lined up. It's cool to see. Look, even the Love's got some stickers uh, just up for grabs, which is super sick. One cool thing, actually, he ended up redoing this whole bedside, and then he, like, re-patinaed it after, too, just to match the truck, which is so sick, you know what I mean? Like, that is perfect for this truck. We're walking back to the truck right now, and these things are beautiful. Man. Alright guys, so we are at the end of import face-off in Epping, New Hampshire, uh, October 3rd, 2021. It is my girlfriend and I's six year anniversary. Here's the wonderful lady. And uh, you know, for a long time coming, I tried to bring my truck here two years ago when we first found out about it and it was getting painted so it didn't make it. And right in May when we brought the red truck in one, um, my drive shaft let go the day before. So today, we brought home the trophy for best slow rider slash mini truck and I could not be happier. Legit, we spent so much time on it and I'm just I'm just super happy, you know. This was a big goal and I achieved that, so let's get it. Before we're heading out, I wanted to grab some pictures of Raimi's car as well because he won something here as well. So hyped to be winning some shit with the homies.